Right new tonight, changes could be coming for irresponsible dog owners, and tonight we're getting a first look at proposed policies. One councilwoman is hoping to increase the punishments for owners who fail to secure their dogs, and she wants to make it easier for people to report problem dogs. Ken's 5 reporter Hannah Tita spoke with the councilwoman tonight. Hannah? East Houston Henry, these proposed policy changes come after several brutal dog attacks last year, two of those deadly. Tonight, District 7 Councilwoman says it's not just up to ACS and the state legislators to make San Antonio safer. A common call for animal control. Every year, hundreds of people are caught in the jaws of terror. Marina Adorete Gavito calls it a crisis. This crisis that we're that we're feeling in this city is not created by dogs. It's created by people. That's why the councilwoman decided to take on dangerous dogs by addressing the source irresponsible owners. We need to be tough on them in order to curb this problem. It's part of a promise she made to the Nahara family. Raymond Nahara lost his father to a vicious dog attack last year. The 81 year old veteran was mauled to death when two dogs escaped their property. I spoke with Raymond after that attack. We don't want anybody else to go through this. But just months later, <laughs> Beatriz de los Santos almost lost her husband. That someone can look so torn. After Max de los Santos was attacked by his neighbor's dogs, he lost his legs and nearly lost his it's life. Really it's really three policy proposals that would address the loose and dangerous dogs in our community. The councilwoman is pushing for tougher fines for owners of dogs that repeatedly break loose. She also wants ACS to sterilize animals found roaming off their properties and wants protections for people who report dangerous dogs. This is something that a lot of the council members are are behind. Um, we want to see more change. And the proposed policy changes include a $500 fine the second time a dog breaks loose and a $750 fine for the third offense. Now, if approved, Gavito expects that these policies could be implemented within the next few months. Reporting live in the newsroom, Hannah Tita, 